Hi, I'm Andy. Uh, this is the second uh, in a series on JavaScript WTFs um, about equality and inequality. Before we start, JavaScript's great. Read the Crockford book. Okay, so equality and inequality. Okay, so here we've got um, a question that we're asking to the, uh, the Firebug interpreter. Um, is the Boolean value false equal to the string, uh, the word false? Well, what do you think? Answer no, um, they're not. So but we should get into this a little bit further. Um, JavaScript has two different ways of asking whether things are equal. It has a double equal operator and it has a triple equal operator. Most of the WTFs are around the double equal operator. Uh, and the takeaway rule, if you can't be bothered to watch this video, is uh, use the triple equal operator. Always, every time. Uh, and you'll see why. Hopefully you'll be convinced by the end of this. So. Here's the first example. The boolean value false is equal to the string value zero. So you might well ask yourself why at this point. The answer is um, that the double equal operator will always try and convert its argument to a common form before comparing them. Um, in this case, uh, I'm guessing they get converted to numbers and they both get converted to zero. I'm not sure. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? Okay, uh, here's the next one. Uh, is the empty string the same as the string zero? Well, surely, if false is equal to it, the empty string, which is kind of falsey, must be equal to it. No. Why not? Well, there's no conversion needed here. The double equal operator uh, is confronted with two strings, so it compares them. Are they the same string? Well, no, they're obviously not the same string. They're not equal. OK, what about the number 0 and the empty string? Are they equal? Yes, they are. They, uh, the empty string gets converted to a 0. And 0 is equal 0. You can see, I think, why um, even though it might have seemed like a good idea at the time to define a double equal operator like this, uh, it doesn't turn out good at all. OK, so is the number 0 equal to the string 0? You might have some idea by now. The answer is true. Yeah, you can convert and the string zero to the number zero, um, coerce it, and then uh, zero equals zero, so the answer is true. WTF. How would you predict um, any of the answers up here? So, is false the same thing as undefined, or is it equal to undefined according to the double equal operator? Well, false is a Boolean value, undefined is a um, it's a special thing in JavaScript. Um, I think the recent standard has turned it into something that's uh, uh, a known, maybe even a keyword. Um, before that, it was kind of an informal thing. Anyway, is false the same thing as undefined? Uh, no. Is false the same thing as null? Well, not the same thing. Is false equal to null using the double equal operator? No. Is null equal to undefined? Yes. According to the double equal operator, null is equal to undefined. Is this string, which contains various things, equal to zero? Surely not, I hear you say. But why would I have used this example? Yes, it is. That string uh, contains white space. It contains space, carriage return, new line, Space. White space strings can be converted to a number. That number is zero. Surprising? Yes. Take home message don't use double equal, use triple equal. Okay, let's look at objects. Um, so here we're making an object. This is the way in JavaScript you make an object. Um, this object has nothing in it, that's why there's nothing between the curly brackets. Let's call it object one. So the um, return of this function is undefined, not, not getting anything back. Uh, let's make another object. Um, again, nothing between the curly brackets, um, so it's an empty object. Um, is object 1 equal to object 2? Well, no it isn't. Um, both the double equal and the triple equal operators will always 
uh, tell you that objects are not equal unless they refer to the actual uh, same thing in memory. But if they're just references to the same thing, you'll get back true. Um, otherwise, you get back false, and that's pretty sane. Um, is object one equal to null? It's an empty object. Maybe it's equal to null. No. Um, but if you're using the uh, Dojo uh, testing framework, which is called Dole, um, and you assert that object one is equal to object two, you get back the answer true. Um, and in actual fact, uh, that makes sense. So the Dojo uh, testing framework uh, is not checking whether these are the same object reference. It's checking whether these two things um, look the same in some sense um, because you've got a, an expected value which is probably not the same reference as the um, actual value and you want to know whether the two things are equal. That makes sense. The uh, the do assert equal doesn't always make sense because it uses double equal uh, underneath uh, which is often wrong but uh, pretty much everything on this page um, I can live with. It's basically good. And that's it for today.